So here we go to this week's feeding. Oi. Go on then. Didn't work, did it? There we go. Finally, we got success. I do you think, as before, he'll let go? Depends where he's got the grip. Has he got the grip on his mouth? I can't see. Feeling really bad at the moment. I'm not going to lie. Um, got a number to ring. And um, I should have been feeding. Well, I should be feeding this one now, really. I should feed this one tonight. I should feed the hog nose tomorrow, but I'm going to feed the hog nose tonight as well. Um, Just makes life easier for me, really. I don't really see where she's grabbed. Where it's grabbed it. All will be revealed in a minute. You'll have your twists, you'll have your turns. And, um... You know... Come on, Taz. Come on, Taz. What are you doing? Let's turn it around the other way. Let's see if we can know what he's doing. It looks like he has got the head, but he's kind of... Not wanting to do much about it. Oh, we got movement. He's moving on to the head. Kept at thirty two Celsius to thirty three Celsius. Um On the cell bed in, and always a constant supply of water.
Sorry that you can't see a lot of this, but um, he's not really revealing himself today. Normally you'd have a head twist and a turn and pull it out, but today he kind of wants to. I was going to say you don't on the side, but he's turning now. There we go. Here comes the twist. There we are, that's better for you, isn't it? Bit of a long winded video, but um, I love showing you all the progress because, and I like keeping the progress. I mean, if you keep the progress and you look, can look back at it and think, oh Christ, it was that small once. It's just an overall nice feel factor. Gonna try my oak milk snake next. Um, for food, which she should take. She's only one day out, so I can't really see her not. But I had her out just now. I had her out for cuddles, so she's probably gonna be peeved that I've gone and disturbed her again, but. She realise it's for good reason. Almost done. Some of you are probably saying, well, why are you feeding it in a tub? One, I don't like feeding it within the enclosure, um, i.e. when they're this small. And if I can feed it in a tub, which I can because it's, it's still really tiny, it's beneficial for the snake and it's beneficial, beneficial for me. Everyone's happy. Everyone's better, isn't it? She's nearly, he's nearly finished. He is nearly done. With a red and bit of blood around the mouth. I should imagine it's a sandbower. It's got teeth. And there you go. Yo, pups.
Now that's one very happy fed snake. Cheers for watching guys.